Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking sausages and penne pasta. So let's begin. Okay then, so I'm going to start off by getting a, a nice big garlic clove from here and let's clean the top a little bit. nice garlic clove. I've got an onion here and I'm not going to use it all obviously. Too much for both of us and I'm the only one that likes it really. So we'll just peel this and let's take this other bit off had these in the fridge for quite a while and they've really lasted well. Right, let's take this one out. Okay, so I'm going to just cut a bit off. off. Put that there to one side for later on. We'll chop them up in a minute. And I've got this red pepper. Let's cut a bit, a nice big piece off as well. Take these bits out and we'll start chopping it up in a minute. So let me just clear this out of the way. Okay, so let's chop this garlic up into little bits. And we'll just put everything here onto this plate. I've had these garlics for quite a while there and they've really lasted long. Right, so the garlic is ready. Obviously you can add more if you like. I'm just adding what I find is enough for both of us. So let's chop this onion up also into little bits. So the pasta, this pasta lunch, I've never done it this way before, so it's quite an experiment really. Hopefully it'll be okay. If you're watching this video it means that it turned out well. So let's put this one in here as well onto this plate. And wow, my eyes are starting to sting a bit. I should have whistled, whistled while I chopped. That seems to work for me. Right, so the the pepper, I'm also going to cube it up into little pieces. I got this one yesterday in the market. I usually freeze them. That way they last for ages. And because these from the market, they don't tend to last too long. They go off really quickly. Everything from this market goes off really quickly. All fruit and veg. I think they sell us all the rubbish. So the pepper, we'll put it on here as well. Let's just finish this one off also. I've got to chop the... I've got to... Um, Sharpen this knife up a bit. I'm still not all with it after being in hospital for three weeks, so please bear with me. Well, I'm feeling more, I'm feeling better today, enough to make this video. Okay, so I've got some sausages here. 
Oh, this is six. I thought there were seven on here. Well, it doesn't matter. Six sausages. So this is a twin pack. Oh, I can see myself cutting myself. So let's get this the strings out. Well, that's, that's quicker, isn't it? I like these sausages. I buy them every time I do my monthly shopping and just freeze them. I think they're good for making these kinds of meals and with rice also. So these sausages I'm going to um, I'm going to cut them in four bits like that into four pieces and I'll just put them all there with the with the vegetables also these are pork sausages by the way but I was convinced that there were seven in, in each packet they probably were once upon a time but nowadays you seem to get less for your money okay so that's all done so on to the next step okay so the next step I've got my large pan here so I'm going to turn this heat up to number seven and I'll add some olive oil about four or five tablespoons nice generous amount this is good for you by the way and we'll wait for that heat up to heat up and then we'll add the sausages and veg right so once the olive oil is hot or hottish we'll add the sausages red pepper onion and garlic and we'll gently brown everything off so we'll be turning it over every now and then okay so once the sausages and the vegetables are, are slightly brownish the next step will be um, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of fried tomato sauce and I'm going to add one teaspoon of sweet paprika. Nice generous teaspoon. I'll add salt to my own liking. Should have added a bit less, I think, because the broth has some already. Well, never mind. And I'm going to add some of these Provenco herbs. It's a spray of them, about half a teaspoon. And let's just give this a slight mix. Most delicious by the way. Um, right, next step I'm going to add the pasta. You can use other sort of pasta, but this is my favourite, so I'm using this. Also, you can add rice too, too. So I'll add the pasta there and I'll just give it a mix about. Nice mix there. And I'm just going to cover it up 
and leave it there for five minutes. Right, so after the five minutes are up, I'll add the, the broth. This is a vegetable and meat one, and it's a litre. You've probably seen me use these before. And I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to try and fill it all right up. It should take about three quarters of this, of this thingy bob. But we'll see. No, it's going to take the whole lot. Awesome. So, basically, you want everything well covered, you know. And I could turn the heat right up, but I'm going to leave it like this. On number seven, medium high. So we leave it there until it starts bubbling and let's see what happens. Should evaporate. Hope so anyway. Well I've had a change of heart. I'm going to turn this right up until it starts to, to boil because I'm getting hungry here. So it should start boiling in about three or five minutes. Right so this is starting to boil. So I'll turn this back down to number seven again and I'll cover it up. I'll leave a little gap just so that it doesn't overflow. And it all depends on how you like your pasta cooked. I'm gonna leave it here for about 12 to 15 minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, so 12 minutes have gone by and this is smelling gorgeous. So the water has gone down and thickened up, which is good. So I'm just going to have a look at the pasta. Yeah, perfect. Just how I like it, or how we like it. Sort of al dente and soft. So the next thing will be to turn the heat off. I'll cover it back up and just leave it there until it stops bubbling, so about five minutes. And here is today's delicious lunch ready. I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe and I look forward to sharing my next one. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.